Remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, are used in a wide range of fields, from marine biology to homeland security, and all of those industries are looking to diversify. We're headed to the MATE ROV competition to hear from an all-women's ROV team. Look at this camera, you can kind of see where you line up. And we'll let you know when we think we have a good reading. Okay. This is the MATE International ROV competition. ROV competition is remotely operated vehicle. You can think of them as underwater robots. We wanted to have like a women's team because guys, they like to build and if we're like around them, they're not gonna be like let us do anything. So we wanted to have experience and hands on on the on doing this by ourselves. <laughs> okay, who's the team captain? Uh, I am. Right, okay. It feels it is comfortable because you're all women and you know that each of you have to depend on each other, whereas a guy normally they'll like to go in there and work on the tools and you kinda of stand back and you see that in teams. As a worldwide industry. We require diversity, we need it. Seeing here today that there's all female teams, that's what we're gonna hire, that's what we need. You're really seeing a shift in the traditional role of a woman, which is encouraging to see. They're taking part of the team, they're the team captain, they're piloting, they're hands-on, they're breaking their nails, so to speak. Those women are learning that teamwork is an important skill that is highly valued by employers. An industry is constantly looking to build a more diverse workforce. Be sure to visit your local community college for more on the programs they offer in robotics and remotely operated vehicles.